Welcome to JC Stocks and Markets Podcast for March 23rd, 2024. I'm JC. I've been investing in the stock market for 40 plus years. My intentions with the podcast are to share my thoughts and opinions on some stock and ETF picks with an emphasis on dividend paying securities. I just want to share some investment ideas so that you and I can maybe make a buck. I'm not doing this for money from anyone. The opinions shared here are my own, and they are just that, opinions. I invest in many of the stocks and ETFs that are featured in these podcasts, not the one today, but I may invest in this one soon. With that, disclaimer, do your own due diligence before investing in anything. With that, let's go make some money. stock I want to talk about today is the Altria Group, uh, symbol MO on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, you know, Altria from being a uh, you know distributor of domestic cigarettes as well as smokeless tobacco products. But it's not just uh, the U.S. company; they're they're international now. Um, you know, they're they're loved and they're hated. Uh, let's start with the first slide that I've got up here, which is uh, more or less the basics. Altria is at about 43 and some change. Actually, it's it's lower than that now. Uh, since they paid their dividend. I'll show you that a little later. Uh, market cap is about $77 billion. Pretty pretty strong uh, market cap still, even for a company that has been shrinking for a while here. Uh, beta is pretty low. Uh, price to earnings ratio is very low uh, at, at under 10. In fact, it's just kind of historically low for Altria. Uh, earnings per share. Um, 457 right now, but uh, they're projecting. In fact, the internal uh, estimates are that uh, they're going to raise. They raise the uh, projections up to over five dollars a share, uh, over expectations of the the street. Uh, the the one thing I really like about this is the forward dividend and yield. Uh, forward dividends is thirty three dollars ninety two cents, actually ninety eight cents per per quarter which is almost a 9% dividend at this price level. Um, and you can see the target estimate is 46.43 on this one. I think it's going to go higher than that, personally, and there's a number of reasons for that, um, which I'll share soon. Altria. Essentially, uh, Altria announced on uh, March 15th that they're going to uh, uh, authorize, they authorize a $2.4 billion increase to their existing billion-dollar share repurchase program, which is great for investors. Uh, and they're talking about having that completed by December 31st, 2024. And they can do that because their their uh, net profits are, are well, but their their cash flow is just amazingly high. Um, seven to two, uh, to to ten billion dollars they're talking here. Um, anyway, they're looking at the uh, essentially committing to this. And they're looking at uh, dividend growth rate uh, to continue. They, they've been growing dividends for 59 years, and that's going to grow at least through 2028. The next item on this on this one, is this is from Zach's Investment Research, is that they uh, adjusted their earnings per share uh, up above five dollars per share, five to five seventeen, which shows you know two to four and a half percent growth. From uh, what they reported last year, to uh, four point nine five four dollars ninety five cents. Essentially, what you're seeing is a company that th- is not growing revenues, but they're finding ways to be more efficient. They're getting to more smokeless tobaccos and other markets. They're finding a way to become profitable. Plus, you know, they're they're they have incredible cash flow from their cigarettes and smokeless tobacco products. Next slide I want to show you, something I got from uh, Fidelity. Um, essentially, uh, Mo, uh, uh, Altria has a P ratio of uh, $9, or 9.84, uh, nine, 9 times earnings, 9.8 times earnings, and at the implied price of 40, almost $45 a share. Honestly, I think that that is a pretty low number. It's historically low for Altria, and I think it could go higher. Um Five-year average on on the PE has been 26, but that includes years where they had some issues with with earnings um, based on an other outside influence such as lawsuits. Um, but I think if you take that up to 20, you're looking at an implied price of 91 dollars a share. I don't know that it's going to get there, 
but nine, a little under 10 as a PE is a bit low for Altria. And I think that in and of itself with the price, with the share buybacks, the increase in, in earnings and the steady cash flow that they have, uh, companies going higher, I think. And I'll show you how, to, how I, I'm going to play it in a second here. And here is how I would play Altria. Um, right now, it looks like it dropped a little bit yesterday because they, they uh, just issued, or the ex-dividend date was yesterday, so it dropped a bit. I think it's still overbought. As you can see, It's it's uh, uh, the stochastics are still in the overbought region. I think what you do is you wait for it to pull, come down into the close to the oversold region or to the oversold region where the price will probably be somewhere between you know 39 and 40 dollars a share i think under 40 it's a screaming buy and the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to piece in little by little probably in thirds but the thought is that i'll piece in you know in at that point you're looking at a dividend at over nine percent with with uh the number of shares uh, getting much lower, so you're getting less shares and value of the shares go up. You've got alpha there. You've got 9% dividend, and that's going to grow. They're committed to growing that through 2028 at least. I think this is a good play, uh, a great play, a decent play now, a great play under 40. That's how I'm going to play it. With that, I'd like to say thank you for listening to JC Stocks and Markets Podcast. Um, I don't know if Altria is for you. A lot of people don't like the the tobacco stocks just because of the you know the the sin stocks uh, thing. <clears throat> I don't really have a, a big problem with it. Everything is is a choice in in this world. Everything you do is a choice. So you know it's it's everyone's individual uh, choice there. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope you get a little bit something out of this. Take a look at it if if you're interested. Do your diligence. Um, and I hope uh, you, you have some success in investing. Happy investing. And this is uh, JC Stocks and Markets Podcast for now. We will see you next time. I know I'm not that beautiful, but I know my way back home. I love and girl if physical, but I never have to roam. Well, she's always there for me. It's simple, can't you see? She's the one Oh, she's the one Everything is magical Even when she's not around No, it's not that radical I just know what I have found Well, she's always there for me It's simple, can't you see? She's the one Oh, she's the one She's making my life so much stronger God, let me stay just a little bit longer She's the one Yeah, she's the one All this time She's the one Oh, she's the 